first of all emphasize that the in Africa, in Sub-Saharan Africa particularly, the African Union estimates that 65% of the African population is under the age of 35. Okay? Some countries, the numbers are even more stark. So, for example, in Somalia, my own country of Somalia, the population is such that 70% of the population is under the age of 30. More than one half of the population, about 55%, is under the age of 18. Okay? Unemployment generally is 54%. And for the group that is under 30, unemployment is 61%. And girls under the age of 30, is unemployment is 74%. This is the highest number in the world. So, despite all of this, much of the efforts to help the Somali, uh, Somalia to, to stabilize and build governance and all of this have been focused on the political elite and the traditional elders. Youth are excluded from this process, not only by the internationals, but also by the Somalis themselves for cultural, social, um, and, and there are barriers uh, to take the, the views of the youth. Now, you can imagine, uh, when you exclude more than 70% of your population, you don't take their views into policy making, uh, that would, would very much limit uh, the progress that a country can make in its democratic developments. So I believe that um, we have to uh, take the views um, and, and create venues where young people can express uh, uh, their aspirations and, and the views in order to, to have a more democratic society. Well, um, a few things have been um, mentioned, um, and, and they're all true. Um, but in some regions, um, some issues are more stark and you know um, are emphasized. Um, but generally, this has to now do um, inclusivity. You know, the, the politics of inclusivity, you know, are, are very um, helpful and, and can help a country. Um, uh, develop uh, it is democratic institutions, legislation, um, and, and all of that. Um, and sometimes these uh, exclusions, the fault lines are sometimes gender issues, and where women are, for example, excluded. Uh, sometimes it's the age group that is included. Sometimes it is other identity issues, uh, whether it's race or clan or you know. Um, and, and so, to me, uh, you know, inclusivity uh, in our politics is, is the most important uh, uh, element that can reverse uh, a, a decline in, in democracy, or, in other words, that can improve, the one element that can really improve uh, democratic development is inclusivity.